Hey, it's Nick and back again today. Today we're back with Descent OS 1.2. Now the guy that makes it, he mailed me and he said, I've just updated it and got some bits and bobs working properly and it's a bit better. Do you want to have a look at it? And I thought, yeah, go on. Then might as well give it a go, because it's rather nice. It's an implementation of GNOME 2 on top of Ubuntu Stroke Debian, basically. Comes with Docky as well, as you can see around the side here. And with Slingshot up here. Oh, yes, indeedy. But we'll come to that in a moment. <coughs> Excuse me. As you can see, it's basic name too at the end of the day when you think about it. Look, it's all lovely, jubbly. I like it. Yeah, super. Better turn me volume up, though, better. I'm going to hear anything, will I? Okay. And my connection and my keyboard, etc., 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 etc. In Docky over here, I've got my uh, workspace switcher. This tells you how much CPU and memory I'm using in my old Docky. There's my rubbish bin, and there's the Docky icon itself, which can change stuff in Docky, as you well know. Okay, it seems a little bit smoother, and it was easier to install this time as well. Because it's installed, of course, because otherwise it would have installed now on, wouldn't it? I wouldn't be able to do stuff or anything like that, would I? So, back to the main menu, of course. And it's old school to name, yeah. And a lot of you will like this. And it comes up rather nice. Look, that's really nice. I like that. It's really smooth and super. like it. You get the usual stuff as you would do with a Debian Stoke Bantu stuff. Okay, so you get Brazero. Gnome Do's Extra. Quack Terminal. Help section. Take a screenshot. Terminal and text editor as well. You get the basic games. Just the basic ones. There's no extras as far as I can see. None, none at all whatsoever. But Gimpy does come as standard. Now, I don't know what version of Gimpy he's put in here, actually. It's still the earlier one. Remember, the new version of Gimpy will be out very, very, very soon. I'm waiting for my PPA to update, actually. So that'll be very nice when that comes along, won't it? Yes. By the way, most of you should have had your open shot update by now as well, and that looks quite nice, too. As you can see, Gimpy comes up rather nice. It all works super duper. What more can I say? Right, under internet, you get Dropbox as standard, Firefox as your main browser here, okay, so that's fine. Gwiba for your social client in, a bit of Pigeon, a bit of Skype and as standard, yes, yeah, got to be done. Although, there are other alternatives out there if you don't want to use Skype. Now, I'm going to go into that at another stage, okay, but not right now. Thunderbird for your mail, transmission and XChat as standard. The full LibreOffice suite, so that's super duper, I'm going to open that rule calc. Just to see how we're doing. Five, four, three, two. Oh, I have to wait a bit there, don't I? It's a little bit of drinkage while it's doing that. Hold on. Mmm. Drinkage. Water, by the way, yeah. No caffeine. As you can see, does what it says on the tin. I like the fonts he's used here too. I don't know what it is, but we'll find out at some stage. And it's LibreOffice 334. And it's Build 401. So that's another new one. That's quite good. I'm liking that. Liking that. Okay. So that's Office out of the way. Under Others, you get the Slingshot. I'm going to come to that in a minute. Sound and Video, Xhow is your standard player. Most of you would have seen Xhow by now. It's just nice. It, it does what it says, basically. You import your music and play your music. Yes, indeedy. Okay. Back to Sound and Video. You get your Gnome Alsa Mixer. <clears throat> okay. Need to go on from there. Into it. Pit TV is standard. Okay, so not open shot here. I think the main reason is it's easy. I'm not sure what version of Pitivia is. It's still the earlier one. Now, you do know there is a newer version of Pitivia available that's got a lot more bits and bobs that you can play with. But I think you have to get that via the PPA, all right? Which is pretty, or build it yourself, even, okay? You also get a sound recorder and VLC media player. VLC, as you know, should do everything what it says on the tin because it's Villac, isn't it? It's a very Villac, yeah, I like it. Right, the slingshot thing. So if we click on apps up here, here they come. Now, I had a bit of problem with this last time because it actually covers up the main thing on the desktop, but I thought about it. You might not want to keep that desktop, so it wouldn't really matter, would it, really, to you and me? No, not at all, really. So you can actually do all your stuff here and browse all your stuff from your apps here, okay? Don't need to go anywhere. If I click on number two, you'll see the rest of them. They're all here, look. If we open up Firefox, you'll see what I mean. It will go straight to the Fox when it decides to open up. It's a little bit laggy this time. Yes, yeah, so we make it by default browser. Should be Firefox 10. Should be. Oh, there are updates available. So, hmm. Need to go and get that updated, didn't we, really? Hmm, yes. But I'm not going to do that today. No. But as you can see, it comes up nice and quick. It's all right, isn't it? I'm going to F11 that to make it full screen. That's better, isn't it? Yes, I know my rights. Thank you very much. That's what it says on the tin. And runs. Okay, so over here, I'm going to put in the bubble care. Make sure it renders pretty reasonable. And that's pretty quick, isn't it? You think? I thought it was anyway. Yeah. 
Renders fine by me. That's super. Love it. F11 again to go back to normal. Okay. That works. Close the tabs, baby. Close them tabs. Don't have tabs in this shop, mate. No, no, thank you. I should admit to do that. I meant to go like that. And that to quit, didn't I? Yes, I did. Right. <clears throat> if we go to places, 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 places. Get your folders. Everything's there. Recent documents. There you go. Easy, bleeding, peasy. Super of the duper. Under system. Preferences. It's all as you would expect it to be. Administration. Yeah, it's all there. Software and synaptic to install your stuff. And a system monitor. Let's look. What's it doing? Not a lot, really, is it? I'm using 164 on my RAM. Mm, nice, and no CPU. Okay, let's have another butchers at that, shall we? Back to system, back to administration. Let's go to Synaptic. We're going to reload it and see what we got. Put my password in. Put my password in. Password in. Password in. Password in. Yeah, put my password in anyway. Now I'm going to have to reload this, isn't I? Yes, sir. Yes, you are. Yeah, got to reload it. So I'm going to click on reload anyway. Let it down. All my files that I need, which is quite a lot. Oh, and I couldn't get one. Ooh. I wonder what that is. Hmm. Because it needs updating. I don't know if I've updated it yet. No, I haven't updated this one. Blimey. Anyway, apart from that, I could actually mark all upgrades if I wanted to, could I update it? But I'm not going to do that. No. We're going to quickly search for an application. And it's going to be Abbey Word, as you know. See what we've got in the tin in here for Abbey Word. Shouldn't be too bad, should it really? When you think about it, it's taking this time. It's taking this time. Come on, you can do better than that. Quicky, quicky, quicky. Maybe something's gone wrong along the line. I don't know. Here we are. Abbey Word. But Abbey Word available here is 2.8.6. Okay, but it still does what you need it to do. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, shall I install something? No, I don't need to install anything. Really, do I? I can just get rid of that. But as you can see. Something's gone wrong there. Something's got caught, hasn't it? I and mean, it's not doing what it's supposed to do. That's the reason why. So we've got a bit of a hanging bug there somewhere. Something does not want to close correctly. And I don't know what it is. So hopefully it'll be able to sort that slowly but surely. See, CPU's going mental. Mental of the mental thing. Blimey. Can't have that really, can we? So I'll just have to email him a bit later and tell him about that one. On the whole, decent OS, a nice little upgrade, but he's got a little problem there with excess CPU usage or a bit of seepage, as we say in the trade. A bit of seepage. It's slowly going away now. Can you see what I mean? Slowly but surely. Back to normal. That's something we can do with that. But on the whole, decent OS 1.2. Nice, nice. Especially if you like GNOME 2. Oh, yeah, and something simple and easy to use, dev based, Ubuntu based, whatever you want to call it. Ooh, because of that problem, I'm only going to give it 75. Sneaky Linux out. I see you later. Bye bye.